What's a common denominator you see with all the millionaires and billionaires you've been talking to? Leverage. They understand the value of leverage. The only way people are able to scale eight to do seven figures, eight, nine figures is that they're masters at putting the right people in the right places. If you try to do everything on your own, you know, you just, you can't scale that way. One of my favorite quotes I've ever heard is, I'd rather have a slice of the pie than 100% of a grape. So if you have a value offer to other people where they can come in and help you, give them a chunk of change. Don't be afraid to kind of let go. You got to let the reins off certain things. That was the biggest thing that enabled us to help grow. Interesting. Yeah, because sometimes that, pie, that slice of the pie is a big pie. Yes, sir. Versus 100% of a crumb. Right. When you're um, inspired to do this, what, what were, you, were you raised in entrepreneurship? Uh, what, what inspired you to, to have this type of uh, uh, to, awareness? To be honest with you, no. My dad had an incredible career in the military. He didn't come from a family of entrepreneurs, but was raised with you know just immense discipline and that like nothing was ever going to be handed to you, right? A lot of our generation you know, is kind of accused of having that entitlement mentality mm -hmm. where they think that that job or that opportunity is going to be handed to them. Yeah. Whereas me, I was raised that it's like you have to go and get it yourself, right? A closed mouth doesn't get fed. Yeah. And so I was really inspired. It was initially my brother. He moved out to Austin, started to work with a lot of big companies because he had won like a world championship with Microsoft Excel. Long story there, but it was really seeing what my brother was doing. I went from wanting to go the military route and go in special ops. Really wanted to go all in on business because yeah. I, I, th I was thought it was to be like my dad and go to West Point and go to one of the academies. You, you got the physique for special ops, man. Yes, sir. Yeah, I so when, when you're seeing all these uh, entrepreneurs, what's the average age of the guys that are millionaires that are very successful that you can see? Because there's a lot of BS out there. Yeah. You know, sometimes people think there's get rich quick and your 20s get rich quick and your 40s. Is there like an average age or an average time frame of, of them being in a business? So I, I, everybody's different, right? Like you have the people that, you know, hit in their 20s and made that happen like a legit and honest way. Right now, there's a lot to be said about a lot of people are posing and acting like mm -hmm. that they have a lot mm -hmm. of money and have made a lot, but it's really all for show. I would say late 30s, you know, to be honest with you, I think the average age of a millionaire is like 50 something years old. Wow. A lot of it, it is. Like wow. I think statistically, it's, yeah. it's in their 50s. Old guys like me. Right. <laughs> Now, I think it may be a little bit different for yeah. people that, you know, were <clears throat> lifelong entrepreneurs. Like if you start out entrepreneurship coming out of college and it's like, you know, you may, if you figure it out and you hit yeah. and one of your businesses that you start, then you have, may have a higher chance of doing that. But I'd say, I mean, I know the average age of a millionaire is like 50 years old or something like that. It's a lot older than people think, hmm. but it's like the whole get rich quick thing. I don't, I don't really believe in. I mean, they, could you get lucky with an investment here or there or a business that takes off? You get in the right vehicle. Sure. But it's honestly, it, I, I like to play the long game, yeah. especially in media. Everybody wants to get rich quick. But the problem with that is they dilute their brand equity. So then everything falls apart. Yeah. Whereas like we've had to give up tens, hundreds of thousands of dollars to promote various things, go into different business ideas with people, all to preserve the brand. Because ultimately it's the long game. We're not in this to make a couple hundred thousand, yeah. a million bucks. It's like you want this to be a, a massive media problem.